you know, I thought I could make it through life without having to watch this show. But then I decided to do a series where I look at Aardman's franchises, so now I have to. Well, I guess I don't have to, nobody's really making me do this but myself. But I am a stickler for efficiency, so here it is. Angry Kid. Big bada boo bum poo lumpy bum. Na 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 na. <laughs> oh god, it's the bone. Oh no, look at the bone. <laughs> is that enough? Can I move on to the next one now? No? <sighs> Alright, let's get into this. Angry Kid is the stop motion series made by Darren Walsh, who also voices the titular character. The best way to describe this series without using the term GINGER FUCKWIT is think of a reverse version of Morph, whereas Morph was unthreatening, sweet and suitable for all ages, Angry Kid is obnoxious, juvenile, annoying and gross. So in many ways it would be a perfect show for kids, except it's not made for kids, it's an adult series. Although that's a bit of a false statement, because while it is something that is marketed towards the older demographic, it's more something that's made for teens really, and fits that mould perfectly in being something that is brainless, aggravating, and scarring for anybody under the age of 13 years old, but far too immature for anybody who is over the age of 17. The series itself is about the titular character acting like a typical teenage shithead, getting into trouble with his parents at school and just being an all-around tosser, complete with a terrifying design and really creepy animation style that just makes this an ugly and disgusting show to watch. And that's not even getting into the writing of the show, which can be best summed up with kid does something annoying and stupid and then the episode continues for another minute or two, without so much as even anything involving a punchline even coming close to any part of the show. Even Morph had better comedic structure than this, and that was a show made for toddlers. Now to be fair, I don't demand that shows that are aimed for the teenage demographic to be brimmed full of intelligence, wit and sophistication. Hell, one of my favourite shows as a teenager was The Angry Video Game Nerd, but while James Rolf's flagship series could be described in a very similar way to The Angry Kid, which is fitting since they both share the first word of their series name. It is something that had levels of intelligence, self-aware and restraint to it. I mean, it was a review show after all, but while the review portion was more of a background thing to complement the crude jokes and angry persona, it was still a fundamental part of the show, and it allowed for a good grounded contrast to the more outlandish parts of the series, and both were given equal amounts of focus to keep the show balanced. Angry Kid doesn't have anything to provide balance to the obnoxious humour, it's just noise, gross out humour, and as I said before, really creepy animation. The animation of the series is something that really surprises me in how crap it is, but I will give the show credit in that it must have been hard since they are still using stop motion, but by having actors wear masks that they can alter, while the actors have to keep the rest of their body perfectly still and moved ever so slightly to match up with the facial movements. And I feel so sorry for those actors, because that must have been a complete nightmare to have to do and all for a show like this. It's also fine to think that the process of Rex the Runt's animation was far more simpler and had much more basic designs to it, and yet it was still infinitely nicer to look at. And to be fair, I do kind of get the idea that the show was meant to look a little bit ugly to match with the style of humour that the show uses. There is a difference between fun ugly and just being plain fugly. And for me, the show just isn't fun or interesting enough to break past that illusion, and is just not nice to look at. I will give the show credit on how, for as much as I've bashed it, it's not something that's trying to appeal to me. It's something that's trying to appeal more to the demographic that want to see gross, obnoxious comedy. And to be fair to it, it achieved that with gusto, because I remember episodes of the Angry Kids series being passed around like Pokemon cards on people's phones when I was at school. Then again, they also did the same with porn, and I'd much rather watch that instead. At least that's got more visual appeal to it. I will also admit that there are a few times where the show could make me laugh, but it's usually during the really short and simple episodes too, like the countdown episode. <laughs> Those can be funny in just how simple and subtle they can be, but sadly those words are lost on the angry kid. But at least the episodes in questions are mercifully short, but with how slow the humour can be sometimes, it makes one minute long episodes feel like 20 minutes. Thankfully, now that I've reviewed this series, I don't have to look at it ever again. And I do apologise for this episode being a bit shorter than the rest of the series, but while a picture is worth a thousand words, 
that doesn't mean people want to hear all of them, especially in regards to this piece of crap. But now that it's done, we can move on to stuff that is more worthwhile to watch. Like shows where characters don't talk. Which is something that I wish this series did. 